before we start the show, after years of contracts with small print that we never read and have no idea what we're getting ourselves into and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard of Mint Mobile, I thought, what's the catch? But they offer a premium wireless service starting at 15 bucks a month. And when I started looking for the catch, I realized there isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless services online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those savings right to you. Tell them, babe. That's right. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate, whether you're buying for one or for the family. The Mint family start at two lines. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same number along with your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and to get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash pajama. That's mintmobile.com slash pajama. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash pajama. Welcome to the pod. Hi. What what are you doing? What, yeah, we're I'm yeah, in New York. Said, oh, you're in New York? I'm gonna be on Ryan and Kelly tomorrow. And Ooh. then I'm doing Watch What Happens Live to talk all about my Bravo. Ooh. Have you been keeping up Damn. on Bravo stuff? Yes. And so I'm doing it on Wednesday night, and they sent me all the episodes of the shows that I watched this week that are airing this week, so that I will be fully cut off to talk about everything, which was so nice of them. So I already I've watched Jersey, OC, and Summer Health. The oh. rich keep getting richer. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Have you you've been okay. going in on uh, Jersey this year? I did. Uh, I did. This is I have to. I took a pretty long break from Jersey, but I went back this year. Yeah, I was going heavy, and now I'm on a break. Oh well, that's, hmm. you know that's how it is. We, how it is. Cass, we started, or Cass and I separately started watching that The Ultimatum. And yeah, then, I watched that. Yeah, and I f- like I thought it was really good, and then they had that dinner, and then after that first dinner, I was like, "Oh, this is kind of boring. Right. I don't like it." Mm-hmm. And then Casim and Sarah were like, "No, no, no, you got to get back into it. Like, it's really yeah. good." So I was like, "Okay," and I started watching again, and I'm back. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Have you finished it? No, I am. Where are you? I'm at the point where like they just went back to with the people who they showed up with. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I didn't even realize that that's what was going to happen. I, I didn't know either. Me neither. Yeah. I thought they had to decide after just the three weeks with the new person. They don't do a good job of like hitting that Mm -hmm. home, but they, they do mention it. But like in my head, I was like, we're halfway through this shit's almost over. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a whole other, for those of you who don't watch it, you spend three weeks with somebody you just met that you vibe with, um, even though you came to this show with a partner. And then the last three weeks you, you go back to live with your partner for three weeks to see which one you and then you're supposed to make a big old decision at the end and the crazy part is how it starts is you show up with your partner and so do four other couples or five or six and you're all kind of like living in this hotel getting to know each other and like dating and it's like hey in like a week or whatever you guys are going to pick who you want to be partnered with for three weeks I don't know. Some of the, it's, 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 it has I, its moments. The entire time I watched it, I fantasized what Cutter and I would have done during that time. And all I could think this of was great Sharpie question. he yeah, would, he would have been staring at me the whole time. And I know I probably would have like laughed at people and like been, you know, in conversation because that's just who <laughs> I am. And then I fantasized like Cutter during that time, like somehow actually hitting it off with some girl and me going <laughs> right. absolutely ape shit. I'd be like uh, April. Right. So wait, just, just to clarify for people listening out there, here's the situation. Jamie and Cutter <laughs> are going on a reality show. And right. what's happening on that reality show is they're going to each pick a person to date for three weeks to, to test their relationship. That's what they call it in these shows, testing your well, relationship. Well, one Why of them is giving do. an ultimatum of move in with me in marriage or I'm done. And the other person is not quite ready for some reason. So they're seeing like, do you need to see what else is out there to know that I'm the one or see what else is out or do this trial marriage living with somebody else and realize I'm not the one. I think we just found our host for season two. Yeah. Ah! That was fantastic, Jamie. Thank you. So, yeah. So now here's what's happening. So Jamie's showing up. 
to this hotel with Cutter. And they're both going to, you know what I would like more, even more than you and Cutter both going on your separate dates is like the car ride to (laughs) the hotel. (laughs) You and Cutter and it's like, so what do you think? Like, you going to go for a blonde? Like I could see you just being like, (laughs) oh my God, you'd see a side of me that has never really come out before. Tell us about the side. Because, because Cutter I tell Cutter all the time how lucky he is that he met me when he did because I was past all my jealousy stages and all of my like, you know, youngness. Because when we started dating and he was playing baseball, the first year of our life, uh, first year of our relationship, there was no baby. I wasn't pregnant. It was just us newly dating. And all his teammates were dating girls too, but that they met in college. So all those girls were 21 22, 23. No. And I would hear that guys when I would visit or Cutter would tell me of them just like, oh, she won't leave me alone. She's worried about me cheating on her. She's harassing me. And I would be like, I don't know, call me tomorrow. Like, have a great game because I was going to sleep because of the time difference or whatever. So I always tell Cutter, he's so lucky that he didn't meet younger Jamie when I was more insecure and probably would have been more jealous. Yeah. I, you know, I think even healthy couples put in that situation of having to watch your oh, partner go like, I mean, it is a extreme. very unnatural, unhealthy cutter. Like, and I when would you, both be a mess when you break up with someone, one of the, the, the part, the, the hardest parts is imagining that person now going off and like forming new relationships with someone else the only in hard this part. Yeah. Well, in this <laughs> show, you're forced to like, watch it happen, you know, and then in the, know in the that same they're ho- living together. In, a, yeah. in a, an apartment for three weeks. Yeah. And, and you know, when you first start dating someone, like those first three weeks are like always the best because you don't, everyone's like just so nice and like you haven't really found out anything about the person and every little weird thing they do is quirky instead of fucking like annoying. I think, oh my God, you farted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh so silly. Okay, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, so they're there. I'm glad that the back half of the show is your original partner, because that at least in my head is like decent producing where you're like, all right, we know that like, this is for the most part, uh, like scummy what we do with these people, but like, we're going to give the original couples like a chance to like reflect on their last, you know what though? I wish they did this concept with couples that were a little bit older. Like all of these people are still in their early 20s and you're usually not really ready for marriage or that commitment then. I think if you did this with people in their late 20s, early 30s, you'd have people that had perspective because I was thinking like, oh, I could go date somebody new and it could be this fun new thing. But then I would go back to Cutter and be like, oh God, yes, this is like where I put some time, this feels safe. You are my home. I don't want to do that dating thing. You probably would have found more couples staying together. Well, as producers, Uh, I don't think that's what they're looking for. I know. I know. But this show would, I could see it be more helpful for people that were actually a little bit older. Yeah. There, there was some relationships where I think like, yeah, they probably shouldn't have belonged together in the first place. They're probably better off separating from their original partner. Yeah. But I, you know, there was one couple where it seemed, did you, you watch the reunion episode and everything mm-hmm. too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, it was very clear that some people didn't uh, belong together, but then also the people that they ended up meeting, they didn't belong with either. They just yeah. like needed to like be single or not with anyone. And um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I think I liked it more than the blind one. Love really? is blind. blind. Yeah. Oh, I like Love is Blind so much more. I just can't. I, First season of Love is Blind, all timer, like really good. The second season, it was just okay for me. The, the uh, I liked it more than I thought I was going to. What's that character, the blonde one in this season? That's the only like interesting one because she's psychotic. Right. Uh, yeah. Ale- was her name Alexis? I or? would never know. She had a kind Where? of a very uh, handsome one? face. She's a masculine. Of the, uh, of the ultimatum. Blind? No, no, no. The ultimatum. Oh, I thought you meant. No, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the old. Oh, one. that was like no guy liked her. In the yeah, beginning. she was like kind of gaslighting having... Colby. She was saying like he was being rude to her when all he said was, "I'm not attracted to you." <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's like, she... watch out for him. <laughs> he yeah, said she, she had a handsome she face. She had a handsome face. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yeah. By the, I think I think that 
the black girl on there is the hottest chick. Yeah, by we far. agree. Me and Sarah, Oof. I think, both had that same opinion. I forget her name. I'm well, actually, there's two. Names. There's two of them. There's a darker and a lighter one. The darker one, not Ray. Yeah. Not Ray. No, yeah, but Ray she, had like, a she real grows eye, on you. eyelash problem. Oh, <laughs> I, I mean, couldn't get how, around the eyelash. How could problem. she open her eyes? Those had to have weighed two pounds each. No. I didn't even notice. I that. think like her eyelashes were like Venus fly traps. They were like, you know con- what? I don't understand what this eyelash trend is. Thank you. Thank girls. you. I've, and I try not to say it because like who, who gives a shit about my opinion, but the eyelash thing, ladies, if you're what listening, are you guys doing? Why what are, are you, you doing? Fake eyelashes every day. It's for a special occasion. <laughs> and then you sleep on your back. So you last just the next day, maybe for brunch, but you don't yeah. wear them every day. This is terrible. It's it's a look like when I see somebody who's I don't know, it's just like to me, it's the same thing as like having like getting finger extensions and having your fingers be twice as long. Like, I don't understand. There's no functionality here. It's just somebody decided that this looked like in a cartoon. It looked pretty like on Jessica Rabbit. And then boom, all of a sudden we're doing it uh, in IRL. I don't, I don't think like I was at the airport at 5 a.m. this morning and there was at least five or six women that had a full set of lashes on. And I, it's 5 15 in the morning. And I'm like, what are you doing? It's the female. Uh, You're making me look terrible. From Austin too? From Austin. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's troubling. You get that combo with the the fake eyelashes and then the cat eye that runs up here, the side. Oh, you're not a fan of the cat eye? It's just a lot. It's a lot of going stuff going on, you know. Yeah. And I, I'm a, I I just like fine if that's what you want to do. That's how you feel pretty when you go out. It gives you a little extra sort of like confidence when you hit the club. Great. I think you would be surprised by how many guys do not give a shit. Um, yeah, but then I, their responses would be like, "We don't get, we don't give a shit if they they get, they don't give a shit. It's for us, you know." But that's fine. It, it, I don't. Yeah. I think part of it is like not. It's Did not I tell you guys thing. the reaction Jack had when I had a lot of makeup on for this event I had? No, I had to go to this event where I had to dress like all sixties, and I had a lot of makeup on. And Jack came out, looked at me. He's like, "Mommy, you look." Like Santa Claus, like he couldn't, <laughs> he couldn't think of like what was like crazy and like yeah. so much, and that's the only thing he could pull from the air. But I've come to find that I've worn worn no makeup for so long that when I do wear makeup, I feel like I look like a clown now. Look what's in your ears right now, there, little Robbie Eiler. Oh, when you said we got to do the Mersh's, Robbie said I know something about Mersh's. I'm in a Super Bowl one, but also I know something else about Mersh's. When <laughs> you want to do this Mersh, I need my Raycon earbuds, baby. That's right. Uh, look, Mother's Day is coming up. If you've got a mother who likes listen, I know my mom spends all her time on her iPad. What better gift than to free her from all the wires that she's tethered to? Um, that's why I think I'm just going to give her my set of Raycons for Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm not going to buy her new ones. I'm just going to give her the ones I have. Raycon wireless earbuds are a must have for super moms. All those multitaskers who need to keep their hands free with Raycons. They can stay entertained listening to their favorite podcast or music. Plus take phone calls with vivid voice technology, all hands free. Uh, Plus I like how you can um, turn on noise canceling and then turn them off. If you need to hear somebody or somebody's trying to talk to you, or you're like, sometimes I do it when I'm in traffic just so I can hear stuff. Um, it's got a uh, passive mode on there so you can turn on the noise canceling when you really need that silence and then turn them off, which is part of the reason why I like them. And they come in a really tiny, tiny case. For those of you that don't need any extra room taken up, there you go. Uh, mine Ooh, are red. You that, got blue. Baby. I think I like the blue. Um, let, me so, tell, hey. let me tell you something else. This might be the only product I have in my whole apartment that has fifty over 50,000 five-star reviews. Tell your mom how much you love her and make sure she hears it in crystal clear audio quality with Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com slash pajama to get 15% off your Mother's Day order. That's buyraycon.com slash pajama today. You know, we love all your reddits of the type of merch we should be doing. And let me tell you, when we're ready to do this merch... We're going to be using Shopify. Cha-ching. What is Shopify, you ask? Shopify gives entrepreneurs the resources once reserved only for big businesses. So upstart startups, little podcasts like us, and established businesses alike can sell everywhere, synchronize online and in-person sales, and effortlessly stay informed. 
Look, the scaling of your business is a journey of endless possibility. And believe me, with this podcast, we want to start giving you these pajama pants and we know where to go to get this help. Shopify powers millions of businesses, like we said, from first sale to full scale. They help you reach customers online across social networks. They help you with your integration, with your apps, including Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of that. They help you gain insights as you grow with detailed reporting of conversion rates and profit margins and more. It's just more than a store. It's a Shopify that can grow with you. So go to shopify.com slash pajama, all lowercase, for a free 14-day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash pajama right now, shopify.com slash pajama. That's right. And now it's time to get back to the pod. Yeah, I think there's certain things that girls do. And I'm like, yeah, that's always nice. You know, a little lip gloss, a little something, whatever. But <laughs> like, mascara. I, listen, the truth is I, I, the, every relationship I've ever been in, I deal with the same thing. And like, it's one of those things where like, you're frustrated going it, this the first time you have the discussion, but they don't know you've had the discussion in every relationship you've ever had. So I, now at this point, I just leave it and I don't say anything, but I always tell girls, I'm like, I think girls are so much prettier with no makeup. Mm-hmm. Done with me, and every girl's like, "Oh yeah, sure, you want me with no makeup?" I'm like, "Yeah." Why do they get mad? That's, that's a compliment. Yeah, and I'm like, "No, that's that's what I." Or not so so much mad. Like I'm frustrated right now because I've had that conversation so many times. But they're always just like, they're like, "Yeah, sure, you do. Sure, you would like me more without makeup." And I'm like, "Yeah, I do." And like, there's been times where when I go out to dinner with girls and they get ready. And they're like, I want it to get pretty for you. I'm like, oh, okay. but like, I don't like this. Like, uh, you know, but I don't say that. Cutter is the opposite. Head. Cutter would be like, babe, put a little makeup. Why don't you get your lips done? Like, that's Oh, Cutter. really? Oh, is yeah. that why you come to the pod with all these crazy things you should get done and cat eyes? And No, he doesn't say that. He just, he thinks I would look good with lip injections. Really? Oh, no, that's no yeah. way. And, and he wants uh, me to get a sleeve. He wants me to have sleeves of tattoos and lips injections. And I'm like, dude, you married the wrong girl. That's what Tom Segura wants, too. Well, once you get the lips, once they get <laughs> past a certain size, there's no going back. And you just got to keep going bigger and bigger. Yeah. And, and I don't care how good the plastic surgeon is. You can always tell when people get always. their lips done. And you could tell like like three months later when like the, the left side of their bottom lip is a little bigger than the Terrible. right side of their body. And you're just like, oh, man. Like, well, I just have to get it done again. I'm like, oh, why? Go look at Madonna. OK, this is a woman who That's has not Madonna m- anymore. Millions what of dollars. Happened? She has more money than you. I haven't seen she her. Has, Can you look? She has access to the oh best my God, plastic Rob, surgeons. You're going to freak out. And this is what she looks like. And you think that you're going to go get a tasteful job done. No, let me pull this up. Gabby here. Rob, you're gonna have to throw no, up. Madonna is an example of the slippery slope. She oh, got I gotta the show cheeks, you this then TikTok. she got the lips and then it just went. What? Uh, she looks like an alien. Yes, I'm going to show you her TikTok because she that's where the, did you see her like last TikTok? People were like, up, they were upset and I was they very thought upset. she was going. Okay, great. Okay, ready? Oh my God. Hold that, that's like her hold daughter on, or something, on. right? That's Madonna. Her face is a triangle. Oh, that is so bad. Oh my God. Oh. Do you, I watched a league of their own the other day and I was, and all I could think of was like, she was so beautiful. What did she do? The only redeeming quality of this video is that that top is sheer and you can kind of see her big boobs. Can I tell you what happens? I believe certain women like this become obsessed with not having a wrinkle. Right. It's like, yes. it's okay to have a wrinkle. No, like, but then it's not having a wrinkle and then it's the higher cheekbone. And oh then yeah, that's the, insane. Then the face starts looking like no, a They look like triangle. cats. They look yes. like lionesses or like We used to make fun of the cat cheetahs. lady and now everybody's looking like it. Well, yeah, yeah, the cheetahs don't have a single wrinkle. The uh whatever she's chasing, Never whatever seen a cheetah with whatever a dragon she's chasing here, there is it's a so line. Bad. I think uh Renee Zellweger crossed this line. No, she's fine now. Are you sure? I think she yeah. fixed it. How I do you fix her- it? I saw her on the Today Show and she chill looked out. great. Okay, great. All right. What about Meg Ryan? These are people I think. Uh, I haven't Ryan. seen her in a minute. Oh, These R. are RIP. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, there is a uh, look. And I and you got to understand that these people, um, their whole their image was so public at such a level that we'll never understand that 
psychologically, I don't know what's going on in there. And what they're doing is probably a result of all the years that they spent looking hot and looking good. And then the second the aging process starts to hit, maybe there's part of them that panics and it's like, oh no, I'm becoming old. I'm not who I was. You know, the people aren't going to think I think I look weird. I'm old. I'm going to get a wrinkle, God forbid. And then they start just going under the knife and then they get one and then they go, Ooh, that looks much I don't better. think like, it's I the if- knife. I think it's the injections. Cause I think when people actually stop doing injections and just get a facelift, that's when it's awesome. She looks it's like she injection. went to like a surgeon who's also like a, uh, a Benihana chef, you know, like there's just a lot, a lot of stuff that happened to her face. And, and the thing is here, she Let looks like look. she's also gained like some Meg weight. Ryan has. I feel like, no, 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 Madonna. I feel like to do that, you kind of have to be mentally ill. Right. And so then, and then do these TikToks. Oh, you got to keep putting this TikTok up Gabs. This is wild. Um, yeah. So what happened was she put this TikTok up. This is like, it was, it, it went viral. As you can Here's see, how it's you by know, far a, her most viewed video. Here's how you know it's crazy. If that wasn't Madonna, we'd still be talking about this. T- we'd still bring yes. up this TikTok and be like, look at this fucking crazy broad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everyone started uh, sending like, oh, is she OK? Like, we got to get her help. We've got to we've got to see if Madonna's OK, because she just kind of does this thing where she looks at um, her TikTok or like Snapchat filters and she just purses her lips to some music and then yeah. uh, it's like she's just figuring out filters for the first time. It looks time. like it's her birthday and she's going to blow out the candles, but like they weren't at the right part of the song. Like right. they weren't done with the song and she's just like paused. Yeah. Waiting to, oh my God. So imagine like that's coming to S your D. Like I would just be like, I got to go. Would you not uh, no. allow her to no. give you any sort of no, moral sex in absolutely this? Absolutely. Really? No way. Would you? At the med, to say you got a blowjob from Madonna from a sixty something. Jamie, how, hey Siri, how old is Madonna? S ask, ask Jamie, ask us Siri. I don't. Have hey to. Siri, how old is Madonna? Sixty three. Get out of here, bro. You want to head from a sixty three year old crazy Madonna? I think for the story, you know. Oh, but what's the, the anybody Just for the street tell, cred? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna show that and be like, hey, this, You'll this be Madonna cool in the gave me head. Now. It's like, ugh, yeah. You'll be very cool in the metaverse now, Cass. That's right. That that whole thing made me very uncomfortable. Like, hey, little boys, I got head from Madonna. What How are you holding? That? Is that a child? That's her knee. <laughs> <laughs> like a baby's head. Yeah, she's got a baby. I bring a you baby to the pot. So, bring your baby to the pot. Speaking of child, so Cutter um, found was what what. I got in bed the other day. He was watching this YouTube of this cool guy that had been on Joe Rogan and stuff, talking about how important rough housing is for young boys mm. and wrestling for their body is to learn sure. like how far you need to go before you hurt somebody. Like it's like a, it's a hormonal thing. It's a body. Like it's, it's really important for a, a young boys, like temperament, everything. And he was like, this is really interesting. Maybe we should try it. And so the next day he put down his phone. He gave the boys full attention. They wrestled for like an hour, the three. Oh of them. yeah. And then for the rest of the day, Cutter would walk around the house and Bo and Jack would just follow him. They didn't fight one time. Jamie, they hold on. Hold to on. Us every time. The next day we tried it again. Same thing. Jamie. You told me that. Yes. You How told me your that. Boy, Uncle Robbie. What would what was your advice, Rob? I, I don't to know. Wrestle. You, Make yeah, him wrestle. You can check, you can check your. You uh, told me I to get Jamie like boxing things. He told yeah, me I was to like, get my box- dad one Christmas because you just like when you're a kid, you have this energy and the same thing when you're an adult, you know, or if it, I don't know if it's just men and like the testosterone or if it's women, too. But you have that like, like, I got to do something. So I remember when I was young, my dad for Christmas got us uh, boxing gloves and like we would fuck around and box. But like, yeah, always wrestling and whatever. But what I told Jamie was when I was like. 12 or 13 years old, we started like a ritual. Oh no, probably was before that. It was probably like nine or 10 where every birthday I had, we would have a sleepover with like me, four or five, of my friends, we'd get my mom to leave. And my uncle and my cousin would literally just beat the shit out of us. Like beat the kids would have concussions. There would be kids like, like with their, like on the floor, like throwing up. Having like the concussed. time of their lives. 
And and every time Monday at that, like showing up to school on Monday, it was like, oh, my God, like, you can't wait until your birthday next year. Uh, and then other kids would be like, oh, we heard like that. Yeah. So what we do is we go in my they would like smoke weed and like do their thing while we would go in my room and like prepare. And we would put on like football helmets, <laughs> hockey pads, because I had like all the padding and stuff. And we'd all come out running out at the same time and try and like fight them. And they would beat the shit. I remember one time like. They took a, a pillowcase and filled it with oranges and just like be, we. So there was like two ways to come from around the kitchen. And my friend was coming from around the kitchen and they hit him so oh my hard God. with the bag of oranges in the face. And he fell back, smashed his head on the ground like and there was just like orange bits everywhere. It was fucking wild. People would be bleeding like and it was the best. And what would happen was. Something would get out of hand. One kid would start crying or whatever. We'd have to stop. And then we'd all go in my room for like 15, 20 minutes. We'd be like, all right, here's what we're going to do now. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we'd get all the fucking equipment on and we'd come charging back out to fight them. And sometimes it would last 30 seconds. Sometimes it would be 15 minutes of yeah. just yeah. fighting, brawling, laughing. Well, it it did something to them because it also got out all the tension between Jack and Bo. Like after that, they played basketball together. They played hockey yeah. together. Cutter and I sat outside and watched half a movie while they played in Bo's room. And no one came out crying. Like we kept checking the nest. No one came out crying. No, they they started building Legos together. It was crazy. And uh, we also took a cue from it because we had Bo's friend from school over on Friday. And we got rid of Bo's bunk bed. And we're getting him just like a regular bed. And so right now he has two mattresses on his floor in his whole room. And that's oh, hell it. yeah. And so oh, when his friend yeah. came over, he's like, hey, mom, don't worry. Just don't come in. Price and I are going to wrestle. And I'm like, okay. And I watched on the nest, but like all they did was wrestle and they had the best time. And I'm like, this is a normal thing, I guess, that little boys do. And they need, they need it. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I almost posted say, it on Instagram, but then I was like, oh, I don't want to get in trouble for saying that boys need things. <laughs> oh, it's not. Yeah, it's toxic. Man. It's we'll just say it here. <laughs> uh, we used to wrestle all the time. There was always a mattress that would be pulled out uh, into the living room or outside. Right. Or uh, or if you had a friend with a trampoline, you know, and you could really get yourself injured. But we did. We played games like Smear the Queer, which I don't think. You know, people play anymore or say or call it smear the queer that we do here at pajama pants. And as a as a guy who was the queer uh, <laughs> many times, I will I, I will let you know. <laughs> I will let you know that there's always someone more queer than you, you know, and there's all there's a circle and nothing's better than getting up after being smeared and then smearing some other queer because I gotta feel say, like there's some sort of justice in this I don't, I've never heard of the game. You've never heard of smear the queer? Me never. neither. So I don't know if there's a different word for it back where you come from on the East Coast, but it's essentially like one person's it and then a whole bunch of people are chasing that person. <laughs> That's and, terrible. And then, well, you know, but it's all kind of in good fun. And then, you know, you, you, you bring them, you dog pile them or whatever, and then somebody else becomes the queer and then you chase that person and then they have to just try and escape and everyone tries. to. It's essentially what you're talking about, except. You're chasing, like you would be chasing Bo or chasing Jack. Right. So they get that thrill, like almost being scared. Like, you know, yeah, when someone's you chasing it. you and you're having it's fun. It's kind of fun. Like yeah. And then like, you know, one person kind of takes you down. There's always the same guys, the guy that's like stronger than everyone. He takes you down and everyone kind of piles on. And then you get to choose who the next queer is, you know? Yeah. <laughs> right? this, is, this is this is. So typical of, you know, the whole pajama pants fandom of, oh, Kasim's are, you know, Kasim loves the gays and he's the, I love the and gays. Rob is so anti and this. And oh, that, you what, think because you never played Smear is, the Queer? That the, 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 truth is, ally? the truth is, oh, I'm such an ally. You, yeah. you guys are yeah. heterophobic. I'm what? heterophobic. You're heterophobic. So I'm phobic of straight people. Oh, I've had people reach out to me and be like, hey, I'm sorry for the hetero hate that you're receiving on the pod. <laughs> and I'm like, it's OK. I love them. They're my friends. But. Is it over you wanting to suck dick over cuddle? Is that the hetero hate that we've you've gotten? Suck dick over cuddle? That's what you got from those <laughs> yeah. three pods. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this guy loves to suck dick. Sure. He hates to cuddle. That's that's what they, he. You're a good listener, but. Mm -hmm. Guys, HelloFresh is farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. 
skip trips to the grocery store, and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit, right, babe? That's right. But HelloFresh's chefs really know how to diversify your dinner menu with seasonal spring recipes like I like I wanted to read this part because these this is not stuff I would normally ever cook on my own. Ready? Sweet heat shrimp temperables, garden spinach ricotta ravioli, and one pot creamy lemon dill chicken soup. When are you guys ever gonna do that on your own? You understand? HelloFresh makes all that possible. Let me tell you something. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. But what I learned just this week when HelloFresh came back is that they've done studies. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping. What? That's crazy. Yeah. And my favorite thing about HelloFresh now is, you know, I like to eat healthy. They've made all their meals uh, customizable. So what would happen was sometimes they would have like, you know, the chicken I want, but then there would be a side that I knew I wouldn't eat because it wasn't healthy. I like to eat, you know, I'm super picky and healthy, but now you can customize all your stuff so you can get this entree, this side, this, that. You got to do it, babe. Tell them about it. That's right, guys. Go to hellofresh.com slash pajama16 and use promo code pajama16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> HelloFresh.com slash pajama16 and use code pajama16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Go ahead and use that. It's America's number one meal kit. Okay, this next one I'm very excited about, guys. Um, I'm, I've been sitting here playing it while we've been doing these ads. Uh, it's Backbone. Okay, what's holding you back from the ultimate gaming experience? Is it the hundreds of dollars it costs for your setup? Or are you just the busy on the go type uh, with only minutes to spare? Level up your game with Backbone, the universal gaming essential that lets you instantly play hundreds of console games on your phone, no console required. Okay, um, check it out, guys. I have my Backbone here. This, first of all, anytime you ever see anything like this, it's always for Android phones. Um, I am a iPhone user. And the fact that there is now a peripheral that I can use with my iPhone um, and play uh, games on Apple Arcade or just download from the App Store is uh, the best part of this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the deal. And I remember when I started, when they came out with like really good games on the iPhone and I started playing games on the iPhone, I just couldn't get like, I couldn't hit things exactly. I was always kind of like missing by a little in there. And I'm like, I can't play video games without a controller. And I was kind of sad because I was like, damn, this means I'm old, right? But I don't really care. I kind of like being old. But I was like, I, I missed it. You know, I'm not in I'm not in the world anymore. And this put me right back in the world, babe. That's right. Uh, and for those of you that are worried about, like, how it feels, how it plays, it, it plays uh, really smooth. It's substantial. It's, it doesn't feel like a cheap piece of plastic. The other thing that's important for me when I play games is, or I'm, I'm buying peripherals or these sort of things that you can attach to a phone is like, well, Normally you buy them and they go, oh, these are only good for like six games, right? There are games that we make and blah, blah, blah. This works with just about every game in the app store that is controller supported. Um, there's a whole list on the website that'll show you which ones and which ones it doesn't work with. But I mean, like all the big ones, Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto. Um, there's a bunch of racing games. Highly recommend if you guys want something that's quick on the go and means that you don't have to pick up and travel with your uh, Nintendo Switch or um your pc it does work with the um online cloud services that xbox playstation and steam have so there you go go to backbone.com slash pajama now to order your backbone until june 30th and get free access to over 350 console games and perks including one month free of xbox game pass ultimate one month free of apple arcade two months free of google stadia pro and three months free of Discord Nitro. Find your next adventure at playbackbone.com slash pajama. James, so we're coming yep. to Austin. And I want to ask you some Austin questions. Like, okay. w when you were going to Austin, where was your expectation of how much you were going to like Texas? Zero. I had no idea. So you didn't, you, you were just like, I, I hope I like it. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Nothing. And where, from one to 10, where are you at now? Eight. That's pretty high. That's good. Yeah. No, si no signs of coming back, huh? No, Not unless open. it was a job. That door's open. Well, you're, you do do a podcast. <laughs> you do do podcasts. <laughs> a high-paying job. Yeah, a paying job. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
I'll have you know that we are about to cut our first checks, which will pretty much just pay us back for the money. Which all I it. want Rob to do is buy me with bleep bleep the thing she wanted me to buy. And people have to guess what Jamie wants me to buy with her pod money. Yeah, but can't this, that, I can't wait for those guesses. Yeah, we're just we're being uh, we're paying ourselves back for all the money we put in. Whatever money we make after this is is profit. Yeah. Or we're probably a little bit in the profit after this. So I want to know what's what's the craziest thing you think, or even if you had to make like a top three list of like these are the craziest things I've seen since I moved to Texas. Bugs, the size of bugs. Fuck. Yeah, tarantulas. You just we just you're don't okay see though. Those you're coming. Through. You're not. You're still not there in summer, so it's not going to be terrible. Yeah, right, talk and, talking and, through this. What, what and are we, we talking just about? sprayed. We just sprayed um, scorpions, but we don't really have scorpions by us. That's more like snakes, uh, scorpions. Snakes. Scorpions I'm okay with because they're not as fast. Like I could get away from a scorpion. No, <laughs> they ha- you know what? You got to look in your shoes before you put your I know. shoes on because they like to go in shoes. When I lived um, in Vegas, uh, they, they oh. were, yeah, they were not, not when I lived in the apartment, but when I stayed at like a friend's house, there were, there were scorpions. Uh, Deadly little creatures. We've sprayed though. We've sprayed the house. So it shouldn't be too bad. Have uh, you ever side- found a scorp? Have you or anyone in your family ever found a scorpion in your shoe? No, not not okay. in our home. We haven't seen a scorpion near our home. Okay, so what? What? Let me. T- so let me. T- what's the worst bug interaction you've had, M- minus tarantula? Don't you have minus like a mi- tarantula? Millipede oh yeah, we had problem? like a mi- we had a millipede problem last year because that can we happen uprooted anywhere, we right? uprooted a bunch of stuff. You had a millipede below- problem? <laughs> no, but I don't. Know. We uprooted like a bunch of dead plants from the freeze the year prior, and it was millipede season at our house was covered in Oof. them and they kept coming through. So every time I would open the shower, there was like 30. Man, that's a f- movie right there. So I documented yeah, it. Don't you remember? I remember. No, I, I don't think I'll ever forget it. I fucking, I had Jack and Bo on like millipede watch because we had no furniture then and they were like the same color as our wood floor. I wouldn't, I would just walk oh, around staring at the night, floor man. and you'd feel them crunch when you would like grab them with the tissue. Uh, do they bite those things? No, what they're do they harmless. do? They're they're nothing. just they're just gross looking. Anything yeah. with more than like eight legs is just insane. Like that's like another level. What's the one? Centipedes? Oof. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Well, one of yes. them bites. And there's a poisonous <laughs> one. And Bo found a poisonous one at his school and told the teacher. And she like had all the kids leave because it was like a certain color, and they'll bite you, and it's like bad. Okay. Oh, damn. So what? What? What else besides bugs? The size of okay. Oh, um, the size of what? What were you about to say? Oh, the size. Oh, that's a good one. The size of the sky. Okay. Like you're gonna sit on my back. So I did. I tell you this. I went outside the other day after the kids went to bed because I go outside every night after kids go to bed for like a little while because it's just such a nice time of night. And I said to Cutter, I was like, Rob's gonna love this. I was like, he's going to love to sit out here. But the size of the sky, you feel like you're in a snow globe. Like it just doesn't end because there's no high sky? buildings around us. Sure. Sunday's at four. <laughs> On ABC. <laughs> what what, what people Thursdays. should watch. But yeah, what is it? There's the big sky. Thursdays show. at 9, 10 central. Thursdays at 9, 10 central. Jamie Lynn on Big Sky. Yep. And it comes back on May 5th. We're on a break. May 5th comes back. Um, to the big sky. Oh, the the lightning thunderstorms are epic. Mm. What about tornadoes? No tornadoes, no tornadoes can hit us because we're too hilly. Any uh, that's what's up. have you have you been to other parts of Texas? No. <laughs> Dallas okay. once. Dallas once for a night. Yeah, I don't think that really counts either, right? Have you ever encountered racism? Is there a large uh, not in Jord- Austin. Is there a large Jordanian population in What was Texas? the last Jordanian or Egyptian you've seen? What was his or her name? Was it Abdullah? Was it Miriam? Okay. All right. I'll ca- Tony. carefully weigh my options. His is name there, is Tony. Tony. Is there anything that we need to prep for since we're coming down to Austin? To eat. Oh, come on, Jane. You know who you're talking about? What are you going to do about your eating schedule? You're going to throw it out the I, window. Babe, gonna, let me tell you something. I want to know because I when I gonna, was when I was pre when I was just in a relationship and I was dating. You know what she called me? What? Go with the flow, Eiler. I like it. That's what she called you, huh? Uh huh. Or did you call? I yourself was wondering that? that because when I made us the sushi reservation at nine thirty, I did that because right. 
When you get the 931, because there's no seatings after you, you get to keep ordering whatever fish you liked if you liked it because they don't. there's no one else and after you. Hell yeah. But I know that's like a very long time for you to wait to no, eat. No, However, no. that's 6.30 LA time. Go with the Flow Isler. Go with the Flow Isler. I got the right. days off too, I'm gonna so be we're, on... we're good to go. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, what are we doing, Friday to Monday? Friday to Monday. Oh, so you got Monday off too, so you could, okay. stay, you could stay till Monday. Stay till Monday. Oh, this is going to be fucking fly out Monday. Woo! Okay. I booked the boat on Sunday. Hell yeah. Do you want to wakeboard or wake surf? Wakeboarding, right? Wakeboard. Why? Okay. What's, what's the, what's the. Okay. I got in such an argument with fucking Cutter because <laughs> I called my guy, my captain, Michael. I was like, Hey dude, I've got dope friends coming in. It's my birthday. He's like, I got you. We're going to go out for four hours in the boat. One to five. Tell me how many people want to wakeboard. And I was like, so far, just one. Cass, would you want to? <laughs> I'll try it, but I. Oh, I, come on, James. Somebody I, else. Cutter's got to get out there. Yeah, yeah. I'll try it, but I don't expect He just wants to, be... to know if he needs multiple size boards, like for feet. Oh, no. Yeah, get him you the guys would fit... extra small. Okay, wait. I think wake surfing is what I want to do. Okay, cause so Cutter then was like, JB, JB, and no, uh, nothing I hate more than when I'm on the phone and he's fucking. I'm like, wait, I'm yeah. talking, dude. So I hang up and he's like, you fucked it up. You fucked it up. And I'm like, what did I fuck up? He's like, he wants to wake surf, not wake board. Yeah, I think I want to wake surf. What's the difference? So on, like, when it's you in wake, a goddamn month. I have time to tell the guy. When you wake surf, the boat creates a wave behind you and you surf in that wave. You you throw the fucking handle and you're just back there surfing. Yes, it's Where the same wake, thing. I think wake, you have no thing. handle. No handle. I think wakeboarding, you're being dragged and you- no tricks over the the he weight. has the one where you could drop it you can always drop it right but what what i'm what i'm saying is one of them the the boat makes the wave for you to actually surf yes in. that's this one but but that you're not supposed to have things on the feet for that i don't think the boots yeah you're not supposed to have boots you're just you're just supposed to be on a board barefoot oh, no handle surfing gotcha. all right Hold on, he's Cass was looking it up right now. Sorry if you All guys right. are bored by this. So no, uh, he has the one with the boots. Yeah, we don't want boots. Okay. Wakeboarding work versus wake surfing. Here we go. Okay, one you have, you're strapped in with boots, and the other one is you're just on a board like a surfboard. Yeah, I, we want, want them to do? just with the surfboard. No, no strappy in. Okay. No strappy any. No strappy any. Okay, yeah. To me that to me I would rather be on a surfboard with no boots because I feel like the boots are gonna. I'll keep me uh okay because what happens is so the one with no boots you surf in the boots. wave and you just you're just chilling the one with the boots is are for like tricks and like jumps to go over the wake of the boat okay where this actually the the other thing it it goes heavy weighted down on one side of the boat and it creates a wave that you could just surf in as if you were surfing in the ocean got it i see you in my head doing it i can't i see you wait. doing it i see a big smile on your face oh you're the biggest I can't wait. I'm so excited. That's a happy Rob. Guys, look look for that on our uh, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be posting. We're gonna have to be doing some posting. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna maybe put we'll that do up. a yeah. live of Rob wake surfing. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta get it down first. I'll. Uh, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be good. I, I look forward to it. We're about two weeks out. What? Three weeks out? Three weeks out? Something like that? Yeah. I don't know. I leave Sunday and I'm out. I am a journeyman. Yeah, gosh, you're just going to be skipping. So you're going moves. to a bachelor party. I'm going to a bachelor party. I'm going to Miami. I'm going to South Carolina. I'm I going... just got back from Boston. How was? Oh, Boston. Woo. Yeah, you, <laughs> you were know, at a convention. Yeah, it wasn't a trip that was like, I get to go see a bunch of stuff. We just stayed in the hotel and then walked to, uh, a, it was called PAX, which is uh, a video Penny game Arcade convention. Convention. Penny Arcade Convention. Yes. Yeah, how did you know? Wow. Did you Google that? No, I watched you for <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and there was a COVID outbreak uh, at some point <gasps> during the uh, convention. Uh, really? G4 had a panel that, which was um, something that they completely undersold to us. They're like, yeah, you should have an hour panel. People are going to come and, and uh, ask you questions or whatever. This room was like, it fit. I mean, there was almost a thousand people in this room all there to see us, you? which was just crazy because you don't know like, because since we do stuff and it goes on TV, but it's like mostly internet, you, you just know. don't know like if anyone's watching or if anyone's into it. You, oh, you, cool. Only thing you can gauge is the chat, you know, when you're watching and you go, okay, there's like people in there, but how many of those people translate to real life? 
And just in Boston, there was like, I don't know, six, 700 people in this room. And it was like insane. It's somebody dressing awesome. up as like one of my uh, cool cumbers. Remember, I should, I made a, oh, yeah. somebody dressed up as a cool cumber. You made your own NFT. Shout out to anyone that uh, is a G4 or cross pajama pants. There was one of them that came to the meet and greet. Uh, oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, he says loves pajama pants. So, wow. Oh, yay. Yeah, so that was fun, and um, it was pretty much just a quick three days there. I just did the man on the street, you know, thing, and then came home. Um, it was, uh, yeah, tell me about this. Tell me if I I feel like I've Have grown up that? a little. Have you seen that? Have you heard of that? Uh, I was in a business class seat on the way back. Woo! Right. Shout out to Mike Tyson. Shout out to JetBlue business class. They got the, the mint. Best. Oh, By the way, that's baby. not business. Why class. is this a mint? That's class. first. That's first, baby. Whatever. Mint. mint is they just call better it better than first. You get your own little pod and the Brand whole thing claims. can just just go flat. And uh, the food I had, there's four options. You get to choose three of them. And it was unbelievable. Flight there was great. Flight back, I had American Airlines business class. Ugh, we know how much you hate those Americans. Complete garbo. Americans, um, terrible. I sat down in my seat. This lady sits right next to me. She's like, do you, hey, honey, do you care where you sit? And I was like, "Uh, well, why? She's like, well, my husband is over there. and I'm, Can he come over, sit here? I was like, oh, yeah. Like, OK, he's also in business class. It's not like I'm going to be losing something. Uh, she's like, yeah, it'll be fine. I get to go to the bathroom a lot, so you'll be better this way. I'm like, okay, fine. I go take his seat. We cross. Uh, his, his seat screen doesn't work. And then now I'm in this position of like, oh, uh, all right, I'll be, uh, let me just like, it's fine. And let you've me got cast. the long flight back. Can I tell you what you do in that situation? Yeah, please. You go up to the stewardess, you slip her a 20, you explain your thing, and then you go, can you say that you need the people who are in to be in their assigned seats. Oh, you think I I engineer it? So to, yeah, so, so I you get act, back. you're going to the bathroom, you slip her at 20 mm. and then you go, oh, uh, and then when she comes over to she goes over to the husband, she goes, Mr. Garaiba. And he goes, oh, yeah. I'm not Mr. Garab. <laughs> you know? And then you fucking nah. and then she goes, oh, sorry, I need everyone to be in their assigned seats, you know, 9-11, blah, 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 whatever. She makes up a thing <laughs> because of 9-11. Yeah, we 9 all need to know who's in every seat. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, there I was. No seat didn't work. Try so it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it was it was fine because I I actually decided to sleep. The 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 stewardess stewardess the flight attendant guy was like, oh, "Sorry, man, we can't get that screen to work." But you have an iPad or something, right? And I was like, "Yeah, I do, but that's not the point." Like, did I preload stuff to watch? Did I preload F one on Netflix? To oh watch yeah, doggy. Yeah, I did, but that's not the point. I want this thing to work, but I didn't put. I just I just submitted. You know, I've yeah. been I've been on this thing all weekend. I've, I've been faced with people that, that I work with or people that I don't work with that are just like really aggravating. I know you've been taking it out on me. Yeah, sorry, but it's OK. And uh, I, I submit to you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, <laughs> I wish you would do that more. And, and it was a, a, a true test of patience. And then get this. We land. Ooh. There was a. um a 35 minute wait for the little jet bridge to attach. There was a malfunction. Okay, fine. That's fine. You could watch the screen. Things happen. Screens. I'll go. My Netflix is fine. Uh, we get out of the plane. I got. I meet my driver. Driver walks me to the parking structure. Two hours it took to get out of the parking structure because there was construction happening and everyone was getting out and it was funneled to one lane. Two hours. I live. 10 minutes away from the airport. It took me two and a half hours just Terrible. to get back. Terrible. You must have been. I was like, it was 1 a.m. And I was like, I can just get out here and walk and just go walk down to Sepulveda and grab an Uber. But I'm like, fuck it, dude. I'm just like so tired. I just sat in there and every inch just ate it, just ate it. I'm like, fine. We're getting closer. We're getting. And then eventually it came. But it, it, it was like one of the worst flight experiences I've had in a long I'm time. Sorry. Thanks, guys. There. Business class. Yeah. It's not well, for everyone. That's the pod. Yames. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so, Jamie, you got 18 minutes in you. Come on. Yeah, what, I do. What uh, somebody asked on Reddit, I was looking at our Reddit earlier, and somebody asked um, if we would do a reality show. 
if if that's just a like question the three for us. of us yeah so jamie i want to know two things well, i think we've talked about this before but like would we do a reality show but even more so if you could design a reality show for us, like what would the thing be? Like, you know, there's like the ultimate, do I have an ultimatum between you and Cass? Is it the ultimatum mm. I have to choose? No, but it's uh, like, there's so many, you know, there's like the big brother thing, to be the survivor thing. It could be whatever you want. This is our game. That's I mean, I just part. think the three of us Jamie, living in a house would be Can fine. I just say the best part of pajama pants is we make the rules. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to be a competition. It could be whatever you like, Jamie. Well, I Go just ahead. want what us to you... live in a house. I mean, yeah, but like then what's, world? what's the thing? Like, we live in a house for three days, a week, we can't no, leave. No, you what, live in a thing? house we with my family, truck. and you bring your dates home, and Cass does his thing, and it's like, how but do we survive my... with, like... <laughs> what's my thing? He brings his dates home, you play and what's video my games thing? And you get picked on? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I get smeared? Yeah. <laughs> you wrestle with Bo and Jack. These two kids beat you up? Yeah. Uh, wait, so, so you are, it would just be for, but but there has to be a, how long, right? Like how long do we live in a house for a month? What do we do? Basically we're coming out. We're coming to try out the reality show in two weeks. I know you and Rob, you and Cass for a week, take care of my kids. While you do what? I go away (laughs) on a honeymoon that I've never taken, but it's a pajama. It's all three or, or yeah, they follow you on the honeymoon. The cameras are at us. And Mr. It's a, Mom. It's a juxtaposition, as they say. It's uh, yeah, an odd couple. Yeah, you get to see the two of them, which, by the way, you know what it would just be? It would just be you two worrying the whole time yeah. while me and Cass oh, were murdering no, it. it would a be great cut, job. It would be yeah. Cutter worrying the whole time. They'd be shitting at the same time every day. They'd be eating the same meal. They would be cooking their own meals. That's right. They'd be doing physical exercise all day. They'd be, they'd be, you have to drop, do school drop off, school lunches, pick no, we would up pull laundry. Them out of school. It'd be the homeschool. It's summertime. No, it has to be summertime. You have to keep them. In, all right. Yeah. Uncle Rob doesn't drive. <laughs> or okay, that's an episode. Drive. Uncle Rob learns how to drive. No, I know how to drive. I just don't do it. I don't need to learn how to do something. <laughs> you I have know to put a, do. you have to okay. install a car seat in the car. You know what the last time I drove was when I, when I had to do uh, your mom's Y-M-H. house. Yeah. You love it. I remember it. you drove there. You I saw you drive there. Didn't love it. Well, didn't she you say you loved love being it. out on the road? You like liked it? I yeah, remember you really enjoyed driving. No, no, no. Driving. It was the beginning of COVID when I drove to Jamie's and I just felt so good to be out. To Jamie's. That I was like, oh my God, it's so great to be out doing mm. anything. You know, mm. I didn't care what the fuck I was doing. It was that first like month of COVID, I just like didn't leave my fucking apartment. Stupidity. Yeah. yeah. You guys want to read some emails? Yeah. Yeah, we could read. We could read some emails. Cass, what, if you had a reality show for us, what would it be? What would you want us to do? I like I like the real world idea just to pick something different. I think uh, it would be fun to have some sort of like wipeout show where <laughs> where, <laughs> yeah. we, where we had some ninja warrior wipeout uh, thing that we, right. we all had to like just every day do it once. And whoever <laughs> got the farthest was like the winner for that day. You yeah. Know? And then the rest of us would have to cook dinner for that person. Jamie's sister in law was like a ninja warrior. Yeah, she still does it. Or is that step? No, it's sister-in-law. Sister-in-law, right? yeah. Yeah, Ninja Warrior. Full-on Ninja Warrior. The other option would be you are the bachelor and we're like the hosts. Ooh. Me and Jamie are the hosts. Love and it. yeah, there we're like, is. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're setting you up. We're like getting that hot tub out in the woods, you know, when we're picking we're, the I'll girls. Plan the, we'll plan the dates. Well, th- yeah. th- this leads me to my next question. We cast Go ahead. them. You, we get to right. cast the girls. Let's yeah. say, here we go. Let's say. You and we're never going to do this. Uh, this is horrible. But Why? let's say you guys, because I would never do it. Let's say you guys got you. Okay, the four girls are already cast. We uh, we were at the house. This and now you two sit in a room, and the producers come to you and go, "Hey, we need to make four dates for Rob. Yeah. What okay. should they be?" Okay. And remember, you're you, you're not just trying to help me, but you're also producing, right? So you you might want to see. Yeah, some you don't want to don't want to make it just easy on you. Yeah, maybe like a tarantula petting zoo. You take me to, you know. Yeah, a little bit of fear factor. You got to eat some Madagascar no, hissing no, no. cockroaches. Uh, Jamie, what do you what do you got? You're, you're you're sending me on a date. Let's do one for you for, to be nice to me. And then you do another one maybe where it's like this. This would make a good show. 
So one, you guys go on a hike up to the top of a mountain, have a romantic meal up there. Oh yeah, right at the top there. Love it. It has to be in my eating window, but yes, love it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We've got 45 minutes to get there. The second one, you go to a soup kitchen and you've got to make the soup and serve it. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So you're giving back. Yeah. yeah. That's well, that's the a good one for me, right? One, that's gonna be real hard. The third one. You got to work the drive through at a fast food restaurant. I would enjoy that too. I like all really? these so far. And yeah. then they get into a cute little would, like fry yeah, fight. Yeah, I could back. make I could make fun out of that. You know what I mean? If you said I had to do it for six months, I'd kill myself. But for like a day and a mm-hmm. date, and with a ch- I could make that fun for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 And the other one, I don't know. Help me out, Cass. Yeah. First of all, we're going shark diving. Okay. We're getting, oh. we're putting you in a cage. In uh, great white, or waters. yeah, or going like something from the heights, like rappelling from a top of a building or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that skydiving that, that wouldn't do to me what you think. See, skydiving would get me, but like I've done all that like bungee jumping shit, roller coaster shit. I actually love that shit. It's more so flying. That would it just be it if you were like, oh, you, like me and her in the back of like a four seater plane. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose my fucking mind. You would oh, see me yeah. losing my mind. The audio is so bad on those episodes where they are just, yeah. so big as spending this time with you. I'd be like, shut the fuck up. You know, so if you were, when the second I saw you, I knew this was going to be such a special. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, what was the what was the other one you said before the heights? Repelling down from like a building before that, mm-hmm. something that you guys thought I wouldn't I'll, like. That I, wouldn't. I don't know. I was gonna suggest hot air ballooning. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't romantic. love that. Oh, 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 the, the shark tank one, I actually wouldn't hate that much. Like, I wouldn't enjoy it. I don't know if you would hate it. I don't think it would be because you would hate it, but it would be such a, a, a an experience. It's like getting on the boat, and then they're gonna put the tank and they're gonna, I'm gonna be chumming yeah. the waters. I'm gonna be, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, you're actually very right. I don't yeah. like, I don't mind getting in the tank and like a shark swimming up to the tank. I think that'd be dope, but like putting on the wetsuit, yeah, chumming the like. <laughs> I would just hate it all. I feel like, can we, is this over? Yeah. yeah. Very good, Cass. Way to know me better than I know myself. I knew he would. Yeah, that yeah. was good. No, it would be a real rough day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Really and like every it. day you go on, Cass and I are just sitting there. We don't say anything. We were just sitting there watching. You're just eating That's like right. popcorn or something. Well, yeah, we would have to like have our own camera because we like, we'll come and it. just like take some of the food on our own plate. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, it could be. There. You know, it could be good too. One of those shows where like I have a thing in my ear and like yes. I'm once, you. once an hour, you guys have to like you guys tell me something I have to do. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you have to say certain things. Yes. Yeah, like, oh, that's, the like, that's the show. That's the show. Rob just goes on dates and you and I are in his ear the whole time. Yeah. And tell her you really like her honkers. <laughs> Rob, go honk, up just give her tell her you really like her honkers and honk, do the honking motion on her honkers. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, and and you would do like one scary thing like shark diving, and then the next day would take you on a roll. We go roller coasters. Love it. Me and you yeah. are gonna go. We're gonna go in the Ooh. next couple of weeks. Maybe we'll even we'll even. Uh, this guy loves. This guy loves. I live speed. for that shit. Six he flags. Loves, he loves. But them. I don't like speed in a car. No, I like you speed don't. and roller coasters. Have you yeah, been you like- to the new like Star Wars and Avengers at Disneyland yet? No, no. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think a good date for me would be that. But if if you were gonna do a, another like really nice date, well, I never noticed your uh, thighs are quite hairless there, Cass. You're not the first person who's who's commented on my <laughs> hairless thighs. <laughs> wow, really? Jamie, you got to see what we're seeing over here, Jamie. Well, just on yeah, right here. There's uh, literally go not ahead. one hair. No, oh, is it like a see how patch? It is. Well, you got Scorsese in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a patch? No, Jamie. There is not a hair to be found. Look at this. I would have thought you had a very hairy hair legs. Yeah. Oh, uh, why, James? Why? What? What about me? puts puts hair because of there. the hair in your head, because like you have thick no, lot no, of I hair. I don't have. Oh, no, you're not. Wow, I never noticed that. You ever noticed it? I'm not a hairy guy. I got this from my mother. She's uh, oh, she's, she's so lucky. Egyptian queen. Oh, wow, my that's my dad rare has breed. got that. You know, he's got that fucking Middle Eastern man hair. You know, where's my hat? 
Oh, she has it. It's coming to Austin, I'd for, imagine, right? For sweet Jamie Jamie Cass's mom knitted me a hat, but it looked like not a material that you knit. Like, at least in the picture, I was like, what is this made of? It's all yarn. She's making it. She's making them out of yarn. She made me like a blossom hat. Yes. Remember like blossoms hats, like Whoa. the flop hats. Yeah. That's what she yeah. made me. And I'm going to rock it. What was the blossom it. song, James? Whoa. What, what was um, the? I don't know. I don't remember. So no good as a visa. That's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all no, depressed. depressed. I love you your know, pen and pencil. pencil. I'll, give I'll give you a you piece, of piece of my mind. Is that it? Yeah, yes, right? Yes, very so. good. Step and they say, they say drugs mess with your fucking brain. <laughs> I think we did that one time. We did an episode where we talked about like the best TGI Friday shows. Oh, yeah, right. I, I was a, I was a Family Matters guy because uh, I really identified with the Urkel, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure. And uh, yeah, you don't need to explain why. Uh, can I yeah, tell you why? We don't need to say this again. <laughs> um, you need to say it the step first time. Step by step with Christine Lacken. She's a friend of yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's great. Di- she directs a ton of stuff now. She's awesome. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a great show. What I kind of forget what uh, what other shows there were. Was Alf a part of any of that or no? Alf no. wasn't, right? So Alf was with Out of This World, though. Yeah, so she out of this caused world. the time. Yeah. Just real quick, if it wasn't like a roller coaster thing, which is great, if you were trying to set me up on a nice date, what do you think would be good for me to take a girl? Um, You know, the, obviously some sort of beach picnic, sunset beach picnic would be, would be nice. If, nice. If we're trying to get a rom- romantic sort of vibe, you know, that would be. Sunset, sunset beach picnic is my thing. In real life, yeah. If I was trying to set you up yeah. with a nice thing, yeah, yeah, it's you, great. I've seen the way you look in that in that soft light, you know, that yeah. that orange, you know. Hollywood. We needed we needed photos for me for my dating app, and Casim was snapping away. He's like, "Oh, this light." <laughs> yeah, you guys would do a sec a session of rock talk. Oh no, not without you. Or you could guest appear, do a little guest appearance. Well, you know, it would be one of those things where I'd be in your ear, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, maybe on the show, mm. the way that on the Bachelor they have roses. I have rocks. Yeah. And you've got to put it on her shirt and it drags down her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about, okay, Jamie, for Cassim, if, if what, what, uh, if you were setting him up with Sarah on a, a, the perfect day for Cass, what's the perfect day for our boy? It's tough, right? Cause you go, well, does Sarah have to enjoy it? Dave and Busters. <laughs> oh, fuck Dave and Buster. Dave and Busters sucks dick. Well, here's what I could see. Dave and Buster's, but you, if you rented out the whole place and you had like some, oh, like yeah, that, right? you know, yeah. I, I, I don't go to like arcades, you know what I mean? Like, oh, no, I'm just saying I can't imagine like, you know, uh, regular Dave and Buster's, but it'd be cool to have like the whole place to yourself and like all the games are turned on, like whatever you want. Like, yeah, that's that, that, we okay. He has a bet. You guys go to like a Benihana, nice, <laughs> okay. and then. At the end of it, the a back door is just open. Yes, it's all private. Yeah, this is The yeah, Bachelor. Yeah. The back doors just slide open, and it's a huge theater room, and okay. it's just two controllers and Rocket, <laughs> yeah. and Rocket League. Yeah. And you'll see She'd if she's willing that. to go there or not. See, I think what would be really nice is like a, like a thing like that, like a Benihana, and then they go like to have a really nice car waiting outside. And you go to like a drive-through movie, like no time. To, yeah, but then you don't want to do movie in a, on a first date because then it's like two hours of no talking is kind of weird. Yeah, you know what? When we do go on dates, like uh, some of the most fun we've had have, have been going to see like concerts. You yeah, know, I was gonna say you go to a lot. You go. They always have a, a artist, and then on they the dance. Bachelor. Yeah, it's some, always like, some country guy. Who would be your, Who would be your music guy? Tool. <laughs> Maynard showing up on the first date. I don't know the first. Well, the first date I ever took her on was to uh, lo- see go see local natives at the Greek, uh, which was such a blast. Uh, okay, here's here's somebody who says in the subject, pretty sure have some very similar qualities to Bo. Mm. It's from a guy named Matt. He says, "Love the show. Wanted to share some thoughts <clears throat> if you'd like to hear." Listening to how Bo acts, I think he's probably talking about all the lying. Yes. <laughs> Listening to how Bo acts, he sounds a lot like me as a kid. I'm betting he'll end up being very creative thinking and also betting he's going to be quite smart. I oh, myself. Patting yourself on the back there, Matt. <laughs> yeah. I myself would make up these stories in my head and share some of them because they are way more fun and less boring than reality. Sounds like that's what he's doing. I know he plays sports as I did, and I'm sure he enjoys excelling there. 
but finding him some creative outlets might allow him to work on his creative muscles in a more positive light. Making up stories, writing might be something he'd be good at. Looking back, for me, it should have been cooking. I bet, too, if he finds something he gets super into, he won't be lying anymore, but he'll likely won't shut up about it. So, Yami, I hope you... Uh, I hope you know you probably have a smart, creative kid that you just have to parent a bit different that maybe your other or how your friends parent their kids. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm a, I'm a bad reader, Matt. Um, I feel like that's one thing Bo is very good at because he is very creative when we were working on his comic book stuff and oh, we yeah. would task him with just making a character. Uh, to like, hey, we're going to draw a character, come up with his dis- costume design. We need an origin story. He'd be like done in like 15 minutes. What was the guy's yeah. name? The goalie? The great Remember? goalie. The great, the goalie. great goalie. And then yeah. but what was his name? Not like Zach or Max. like Max. Yeah. Max, Max Marcotte. Marcotte. Yeah. Max Shout Marcotte. out to Max Marcotte. He's His smart. He knows he can do alliteration. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're, we're going to need to work on that a little bit. He draws he a ton. You know, he, he he sits down at his desk every once in a while. He's and just very draw. good at it. And I'm not just telling you that. He is very good at it. So you should once a week have him sit down and make you something. While yeah. I'm, you know, while yeah. I'm not there. Yeah. There's Thanks, fi- Matt. Fi- fighting and drawing, James. That's that's what you're like. That's my kid. Be. And lying. Yeah, well, we'll get to we're, we're good, right? All right, thank you. That's a pod, as they say. <laughs> That's a pod, guys. We are yeah. inching closer to an in-person pajama pants. It's Three gonna weeks. be magical. Yep. Um, let's see. You can uh, join the community on Reddit r slash pajama pants podcast. Actually, there's some really funny posts on there this week. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Rob is off the grid, so don't try it. Uh, Ask pajama pants at gmail dot com if you guys want to send us an email like Matt just did, so we can read on the pod. You can send us your dating profile pics so we can judge them. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, click subscribe and click the notification bell, and that way you'll know when our videos go live every week, which is Tuesday mornings right now. Jamie, where just real quick, where do you think we should do the pod from? Well, where, where I have my house. stuff set up already, right? Okay. Well, we can, yeah, we'll look yeah, at maybe it. We we find, maybe we find a nice little out, out As long as Cass can move my stuff, then yeah. Oh, yeah, we can move. We can move you your stuff. It. You absolutely got it. Well, I'm saying maybe we, we maybe we do our first outdoor episode of. Sure. Oh, we could do it from the trampoline. The trampoline. Or we'll, we'll, we'll move every 15 minutes. We'll do it from the deck. We'll do it from the trampoline. We'll do it from the pool. We'll yeah. do it from the mattresses it. on both floor. Hell yeah. Maybe we'll do it from the chairs. Ooh. Wow. Wow. The fancy chairs, the iconic, controversial chairs. Not, there's, not good Wi-Fi by the chairs, we've learned. There's three yeah. of us. You're going to have to spend another 60 grand to get another and wait yeah, another six Yeah, better order months. it now to get it by summer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a pod, guys. Thank you. And also, thank you for supporting the sponsors that support the show. It really helps us out. Yes. And we, we're happy that you guys uh, check them out and use our discount codes and everything. So keep that up. Thank you.